Good afternoon. It is Friday, November 19th, and this is the work session of the Board of Supervisors for the American Rescue Plan Act dollars. Um, to those in the room here and those on Zoom, I just want to apologize for us our delay today. Some of our meetings today that folks were at uh, ran a little bit longer, um, so I do I do apologize for being a few minutes late in starting. Um, I think we'll go through the we've got our agenda some updates from our previous meeting we had asked that the small group kind of go over or work group to go over and kind of look at the applications um, that came in um, we had a scoring matrix just to help with guidance um, kind of where we're at um, just wanting to hear from from the work group on uh, your review of the internal applications were there questions that you had um, and for us to maybe ask, um, uh, or, you know, if we need to develop some questions to go back to um, our applicants as well. So I'm not sure which of you are being identified as kind of the spokesperson for the group. I'm really quiet. I don't think we're gonna... You have no opinions anyway, right? <laughs> You talk up here, or are you going to make me do this alone? Oh, I think I'm driving. Nice bird. <laughs> okay, so this is a really, really, really busy time of the year for all of us. Well, this is actually the end in a minute. Yeah. yeah. I, yeah. This is, it has been overwhelmingly so. We did um, have a schedule, meeting scheduled yesterday that ended up starting 45 minutes later than planned on. So we didn't get as much time as we wanted. It was our first go around of actually sitting down together to, to see where we were all at, how the scoring matrix was working for us, what, what, what our thoughts were on it. So um, I can honestly say that we generally had the same take on it some of them were really difficult for us to clear cut say this or that um so we did not we've not gathered them we've not said okay this is what our score is we don't know how you want it presented we don't know if you if you will even want sure sure the the, the scoring because it, it's basically a decision that the board needs to make irregardless of how sure. we score it sure well that makes me wonder would it be better at the Point to then go through without the scoring necessarily, but to go through each each of the applications first to discuss what that's they fine. were because um, because we did have questions on some of them, we had follow ups on some of them. Uh, I know Sandra has followed up on a couple of or one or two of them maybe. Um, and then there's and then there's the ones that you know were budgeted for FY22. We we put into the budget for FY22 out of ARPA funds that that. You know, are, are included on obviously in applications, um, but since they were already in the CIP and already budgeted and and were obvious qualification, um, but that comes into question on that, and that's where yes, we did identify some areas for budgeting um, uh, of you know certain projects that we thought would be eligible earlier on. Um, I did have a conversation with Jamie Cashman with ISAC, and it's the question of, uh, um, well, it's still in the bill that has not passed that S3011 or HR5735, you know, where it says supplement or supplantation of dollars. But he also kind of talked about if you already had an identified funding source for a project. He said that would recommend that you steer away from identifying that as being an ARPA funded area. And I know Lisa, you're kind of looking at me like seriously. I do need to follow up with him because we've been playing phone tag on it. And by the time I talked with them, I called them back, talked with them, then he had to get to another meeting. So I said, I'm gonna have to follow up. I said, we're gonna have a meeting here, probably that's gonna generate some additional questions that we need to follow up to yeah. him on. Question. Was that just today? Yes. That he said that? Yes. Yes. Uh -huh. Just just today and stuff. So that's where I want to make sure that we 
and, and it's that is on that particular legislation that's only passed the Senate. It has not passed the House yeah. yet. But that my question is that supplement, not supplant language in that new Senate bill. Maybe this is a follow up question. Is that just intended for the, is it intended to modify the entire bill or just to apply to the infrastructure expansion that that would allow? And, and I asked him that, he said he, he would have to research that a little bit more. Okay. He was he was unsure from the time that I, as I said, we've been playing phone tag for him to have that pulled up um, to look at. So that is something that to our discussions today, looking at all of those, hopefully I will have time or he'll have time. You know, if I say, hey, we're gonna have a meeting next week or whatever to have that information We're identified, further I identified. I Rob Sand earlier today and he thought, he said, as far as he knew, the original ARPA legislation did not have any initial right. planting in it, but he was not familiar with this new bill. Right. And, the, and the, I know, I know. And, and, and that new bill, the, the interesting thing is, you know, what everybody's been saying is they already give guidance, you know, they shouldn't. They, change the they should they shouldn't change the rules. If they do anything, they should liberalize the rules or make them, you know. And that bill that the Senate is, you know, passed does just the opposite. It throws a real kink into a whole bunch of things that we have done or could. And the other thing I know is a problem is we're going to be going into 23 budget and we may be going in it not knowing if something is going to be covered in 23 by ARPA or general fund or some other source so it's just going to be it's going to be mess, messy until we get that answer right there are, are a lot of unknowns and so the board will probably be best of course not to lock itself in to any decisions, and you probably already have that in mind. Mm -hmm. But whatever um, decision you do come to about this, it is the board's decision. Let me let me ask a question. Sure. Um, and I had I went through them, and I didn't do scoring because we asked you all to do the scoring, so I didn't. But I went through and asked to see what questions I had. Would it be helpful for this if we did that? Just went through them and application by application and got a list of questions to be asked to the applicants that would help us get further. Is that what the best I, use of our time today? I think that would probably be helpful because you could identify questions that maybe you have, but also questions that we that we have. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hold on, hold on. And then before we leave today, it's obvious we're going to need to set another meeting to right. do the internal applications, and that might be taking one of the days we already have set for externals. Right, right, right. Well, and, and, and quite frankly, we covered it already. With so with so many questions still, I, I don't know how you can make final decisions today or even next week or the week after without some more structure yeah. to this. Well, we do have our ISAC, um, our home work group meeting on December 8th. Right. My hope is to have a bunch more questions identified over the, you know, this meeting and our external, external meeting, or, you know, maybe we won't have any additional questions, maybe it'll be clear, but if we have extra questions, I want to send those off right away mm -hmm. and hopefully have them be able to respond to at that December at the meeting. I'm going to assume we're not the only county. You know, not all counties have, are opening up their right. funding for applications. Some right. are saying, no, we're just doing an internal and they're, they've got some specific things that meet that criteria. But there right. are a few counties that are opening it up. I'm sure they're going to run into the exact same type of questions yeah. I think it's that we're running into. Yeah. It's probably not going to get clearer until we actually get into the process. So I'd suggest so, we start. Okay. You know, okay. Give a good guess of time. So I think I'm just going off that list that was provided before the internal applications was the Hickory Grove wastewater system from conservation. And I am sharing the application that was on the screen. Great. Thank you. Thank you. 
Um, I will I will just say that this one was moved out of the conservation and into ARPA funding. No dollars have been spent on it. It is in the in the ARPA funding budget or ARPA funds budget. Um, but since no dollars have been spent on it, I'm not. Um, I, I I see no reason why you could say, wait a minute, let's 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 hold off on that. Um, and quite frankly, this is an easy one to hold off on if you want to, because it's been in the budget for six years. Right. Six years. Um, right. Well, and I think that would kind of our, our, that's been our intent all along to do the applications and identify right where where we wanted it to go to those dollars to go to. Right. I noticed that the estimate was a 2016 estimate. You're yeah, right. That's old, right? And yeah. it's been bouncing around. Oh, and, I, and I say it's been in the budget six years. I could be right, right or wrong there. I it's been in the budget multiple years. Yeah. I mean, I didn't Paul Toot go over and talk to the city of Cobo about it. So yes. Paul Toot was alive when the last or when we were still talking about this. So this has been in the budget a long time um, to be out of conservation capital acquisition. Now. Um, because of the eligibility of it and or the, the 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 actual what it is, what the project is, the wastewater. it is one of the eligible projects as far as I'm concerned for ARPA dollars also. But it's, it's also likely to be something that's going to take a while. <laughs> I mean, even even if we got the even if we got the approval tomorrow, it's basically extending sewer out to Hickory, doing a whole bunch of other stuff. It's probably a couple of projects. And I just, oh, I'm not the right person to ask on that one this week. So okay. that would be a valid question if you want to ask that. Of, um, that might be one. I don't know if you folks are going to come up with some questions. Are you going to be writing them down to get it to people? That would be the one I would ask is once it's approved, um, once Polo agrees to it, how long is it going to take to actually get get it done and get the money out the door? My other question was, what and 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 yeah, I agree we're holding on it, but eventually we have another question, which is the park phases two through five of the cost opinion from 2014, even though it's total of 100,000. Now I'd like to know a little bit more about that. Which one? It says, please use the space below or attach spaces oh. for any additional information or comments. Attached cost opinion is for phase one. Okay. Further in park phases two through five have the cost opinion from 2014 and cumulative total cost of 100,000. I don't know if that's was related to the cabins that we haven't approved that have been brought up every now and then or if it's related, what phases two through five are. Gotcha. And when it would be, and when they would be done. I think it'd be useful. Yeah. Just know that they're old. And the original funding source was conservation acquisition. Right. And is that donations? No. What That's is uh, camping fees. Camping fees. Do they have camping fees to pay this whole thing? Uh, they haven't spent any money on that well, uh, fund first for many years because they're saving up for it. So there's um, 800, 900,000 in that right now. Thank you. So it's, so it's covered targets, but. Um, and, and just so we're all clear, it did, it did in the budget amendment in August get moved to ARPA funding, but nothing has been spent. Okay, so we're putting it on hold for now. It's probably functionally you have everything on hold, but it's one that we can keep on hold when something is true. Next one I have any question other questions in else have no. Uh next one was the edge field uh, nutrient removal practices. Who wants right. to go on that one? Um, Mike did provide some additional information about this one. Um, I had asked a question about it uh, because I thought that the cost was going to be lower. 
the information he provided. Did you want me to just read what he provided here? Yes, yeah, sir. Okay. Uh, cost opinions on the edge of field program for summer of 2022. It looks like it would be approximately 40,000. Of that, 35,000 would go into practice installations without federal match. Therefore, I think we could use ARPA for 35,000 and GF General. Okay, for 5,000. These estimates are preliminary. Final cost opinions are due to me by, by the beginning of December. Also, we anticipate that this program will be continued in subsequent years. Could we ask for a similar amount for the next few years? And I told them we weren't accepting any new requests that I have posed the question because I thought the cost was going to be lower. He says, secondly, reference McFarland Lake renovation, the cost opinion is approximately 1.2 million. I only applied for design, the, the design costs at 50,000 because we did not have a cost opinion. And I modified the request. <clears throat> um, when, when we discussed this one as a group yesterday, one of our questions was the, the different funding streams and how much of it, um, where, where they're all coming from. There's a lot of a lot of moving parts in this. Go ahead, Leanne, you're, you're more. And that's where, I, in this one, um, just from involvement with other groups in Story County, as Lisa just said, there are so many moving parts ensuring that federal that this is not going to be used in um, combination with any other federal funds that would not be eligible to be used. I'm making sure we, we're not commingling and, and doing separate things, um, making sure we're not doing something inappropriate with the guidelines. That's why I'm a little bit concerned with this one. Front leg. No, this is this is number this is B. The thirty-five thousand this does not have federal match because the Polk County program and how it was being presented is something possible to for a county. They were using seventy-five percent USDA, and then the rest twenty-five would come from idols or from. They had up to 90% non county and just 10% was going to be county. And I know Mike said the other day that things were changing on that, but that's a huge change. So, so is that something that you need more information from Mike with a breakdown of kind of funds to know what you would be using for match or just to make sure for clarity? For clarity, for clarity, for clarity, for clarity because, yeah, I, because I, I, I would have a concern with reporting something and finding out later, well, whoops. I think we need a full budget to say what, what exactly, yeah, line item with the budget and what practices do we have, how many sites, and of course, where is the funding coming from from each of those, for each of those practices or sites? Because my, you know, I've heard a lot about this, but it seems to be changing, and I just feel more comfortable if we had that in writing. I think it's a great program. I think it's something that, you know, just from my personal opinion, the county should support. But I'm feeling like it's a little squishy right now. And I'd like to see it turned up a little bit more. So yeah, budget. More budget control. Other questions on B? So did he say what well, went from 50,000 to 40? Sounds like it would be approximately 40,000. Maybe it's the number of sites, but then I'm sure it's been working on sites and maybe they didn't have as many. So what was the original, we were kind of talking about McFarland for a while. What was the original source there for the design? General fund. General fund. And then for the one, for, then there was, since we didn't have a cost opinion, we didn't have anything in the subsequent year for what was actually going to cost. No, the, the CIP just put, uh, I, 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 I don't quote me on this. But I think we just had in the CIP, he just had in the CIP to be determined. That's what I based on based on this, uh, on we're on C McFarland Lake renovation. Um, that that was a TBD after he got this. So at this point in time, there's been nothing except, and it was actually forty seven thousand dollars. 
47,000 that he had put in the FY22 budget. And then I have and, so and that did get moved also. So there's a difference between 47 and a 559 that's on another sheet. Right, because yeah, because you know, here's the deal. 47 is what he had in the budget, and plus came in 55 nine. <laughs> That has been start, he has started paying on that. We have made we have made some um, payments out of ARPA funds for this. Did you have change order or something? I, I, can you can you ask that question? Yeah, we need to make sure that things tie up. Was his budget amount just based on estimates? I, I possibly. Any other questions left on that one? I don't, want to rush anybody. I don't think we can. My sense would be. So, uh, yeah, I don't know how you want me to handle this one because, like I said, we started paying out of our funds with them or for this project. Can I make a suggestion? You've got it there in the budget now. Can you continue paying it there? And if something comes up, move it. I mean, I know we're not. We can't make a decision here today. No, I understand. I yes. I, I can't think what else to say. B is the land acquisition, the Oshine land acquisition. I can make that one really easy for all of us. That's a debt repayment. No. no. So yeah. it's I I I it, it's not eligible as far as I'm concerned. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was pretty clear in the thing. So yeah, I very that clear that that's not that, a, that option. It's not allowed. E looks like Oxbow restoration. And in the CIP, where's the funding for that? Then it was discussed. Obviously. I I just feel like this is not the intended use of the funds. Uh, Mike does say 
it is a project eligible for the Clean Water Project through State Revolving Fund, and they did put out guidance that said it would be eligible for water quality if in our and the, the rest of the plan, if it was something I don't so clean water. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Tied to clean water and state revolving fund. I don't know that much about that. I'm not the expert there. Well, I'm sorry. Maybe I should correct. I'm not saying I don't think it's eligible. Oh, it, it, it may very well be eligible. I okay. just don't feel like that was what the funds were intended for. That's kind of like legislative intent. I don't know. I don't know. The new infrastructure legislation also uh, kind of leaves some additional questions as to how many of these types of projects would be covered. And if there's funding there, should that be used versus ARPA? And that would be a good decision. Right. And we're not going to know that for a while yet. The other thing, and I'm not positive, indications I've seen are that the infrastructure bill they just passed, the money is going to go to the state and not come down to the locals. So harder to get that money than the money we already have. Just something to think about. Um, we're not we're not making the final decisions today. Like uh, I understand what you're saying. So so it's not a priority in your arena is what you're saying. And, and quite frankly, the four of us have that same. Yeah, what, what I can, yeah, I'm not saying I don't think it's important. But, I'm absolutely not saying that at all. Absolutely. I'm just saying what's the... And there is a reality that conservation does have other sources of funding that such as new grants, other grants from the um, right. Conservation, um, camp fees, you know, those kind of things that they use for some of these. Whereas we may have other applications that don't have other tools. So, uh, There's no additional questions on this project. The next one would be part of the Iowa Nature Trail project. Not, neither one of us rated this one because we do not um, see that it is an eligible project. That's our that's our take on it. So we didn't recommend it. I mean, we didn't even rate it. <laughs> no. This is F. Yeah. No. Let's just look at what it's got. Let's see. There hasn't been real clarity no regarding trails no there has I, been a there's outdoor recreation there's outdoor recreation there's outdoor recreation trails specifically are not talked about right right and we've asked that question mm -hmm. and we get um, the runaround yes and <laughs> i would assume that's one of the over 1600 questions that nato has into the u.s treasury I'm, that we're still waiting on because uh i think last i heard is They'll have like another updated, like um, like the July 19th, yeah. you know, thing that they will have another update once they get majority of these questions answered, which makes it very hard because you'd like to, I, you know, to, you'd like to make determinations sooner than it, rather than later. Looks like they keep changing on things, but there are a couple of things in here that we do need a little bit more clarity on, and they just may, right? They just have, may have to be projects that they're. Right. We may say yes, we really love them, but we're not going to put them into ARPA funding or, right. yeah. you know, as a, as a board make that determination because there's so much ambiguity. Right. Right. That. right. And, and, and you know, and, and let's 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 be honest. This is for phases four, six, and seven. This this has been an ongoing long project. We've we've, we've done we've done lots. Well, and then that goes back to the question that when I talked with Jamie Cashman and he missed this comment of Seth, of his comment was making sure that the projects you're looking at are new projects. He's like, if they're new projects, 
you feel like, okay, that's fine. But I said, what is something if you're in a new phase? So this would be a new phase mm -hmm. of an old project. It's mushy. I think it did. I think from his take on it was that it got a little bit mushy. He was going to look into that a little bit more and that would get back to me on that. So it'd be good to hear that. But yeah, it does right into that. And, and I don't know. And where there's outdoor recreation that's fine. And I I could say that I, I could say that yes, having trails for walking, biking, certainly does seem to be outdoor recreation. But I also see that it's been several phases have been funded with other sources of money that may still be available. Um, uh, if I look at the uh, the FAQs on outdoor space, um, it says <laughs> The interim final rule provides a non exhaustive list of eligible services to respond to the needs of communities disproportionately impacted by the pandemic, and recipients may identify other uses of funds to do so consistent with the rules framework work. For example, investments in parks, public plazas, and other public outdoor recreation spaces may be responsive to the needs of disappropriately. Or I can't say impact the communities by promoting healthier living environments and outdoor recreation and socialization to mitigate. They like to disproportionately impact the communities. That's spaces. That's how they linked it in spaces, outdoor spaces. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I think it's just it's it's a gray area that I don't. So it ought to go to the question gray area. Yeah. Oh, string bank stabilization is also a conservation one. Should we skip to get so we do all the conservation get all the conservation ones? I would not keep going away with all yeah, the Yeah, I'm going to Yeah, whatever. What's the best? <laughs> I get confused. I just bought it. <laughs> okay. Next is the front counter barriers. This one seemed pretty clear. <laughs> yeah, this one did not uh, give us a lot of a lot of discussion at all. We thought it was pretty clearly related, and we also um, have moved this from general fund to. There's been no costs incurred, but we did move it in the budget amendment to harbor funds. So, and there were two seventy-two thousand, and there was one hundred and twenty-five thousand and twenty-seven five. I wasn't understanding. I didn't spend a lot of time on it, but I wasn't understanding all the different. What are you talking about? We're talking, talking about seventy-two thousand. We're on the seventy-two thousand. She's talking about here on the application. Oh, the application. Okay. It shows right there in the current fiscal year budget. What is the current budget amount? Seventy-two thousand. And then it says down the right, down the low, the right budget total estimate of project one hundred twenty-five. And there was twenty-seven thousand later. <laughs> Is that included in the 72? Or is that an additional? No, no, that's 72 and 77. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Make it that might be a question to ask. These are estimates until they get into right, right, the no. actual work. I, I, I get that, but I guess my question is, is there's three different numbers. I'm wanting to know why, what the numbers, if one's included in another one or not. Right. So is that the current budget, budget for this year is 72,000? Mm -hmm. Well, that's what the, yeah, that's what's in the budget for this year. So. But then I think since Joey originally put the budget together. Since budget work sessions, the engineer building and animal control has decided to have the barriers installed at their front cabin. This will need to go back to the Story County Board for approval. I'm waiting for recommendations from the space needs assessment before I take this in front of the board. So he's saying that in the current budget is 72, and that takes care of the administration building. And that's what we've already approved to put in the budget, whatever. The total project with those others, he's assuming 125. Right. 
That is the 27,000 for architect and engineering and contingency included in one of the other of those, or is that an additional item? Good question. Yeah, I guess I didn't understand the form well enough, or I would have maybe, and I don't know where to start. But that might be the question is that 27 included in one of those above? What you've moved to ARPA is the 72 and the budget. Yes. Yes. Okay. Next one. Letter uh, <laughs> Justice Center HVAC. So, is this kind of the same thing as the what we were talking about a, a little bit ago? It's a project that's been ongoing. Well, that's, that's what I wonder. Is, and that's where I was yeah, and we've started, paying, we've started paying out of our funds for this. So, so I, yeah, I. <laughs> But can we? That, that's what we're trying to get right. the clarification on. Right. Does it have to be all set up over? Cannot hold them. Uh -huh. Remind us or remind me at least when did uh, phase one get completed? Pardon? I don't think so. I think it was last year. I think it was the very beginning of FY21. Yeah. Oh. Maybe I I I would have to. Obviously eligible on merits. Like right. So right. The question is, since we already had phase one. In last fiscal year, is it something that we should? That and that's the question. That's yes. Yeah, yeah. And that's, that's why I'm like, what other questions are we coming up with? Right. Um, and that, and, and you know, it, yes, it's a, it's, I, and I don't know how 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 you would. Um, I'm not really sure how you delineate that because. Um, I, yeah, I'm not really clear how they stop. Well, that's, that's it. So that's why I want to ask Isaac on it. I also want to ask some of our counterparts in other counties that are also doing grants, you know, how they're how, kind of how they're looking at as well. I'm assuming they're all getting that same information from Isaac, but I think I, you know, I think Isaac or Nathan is going to be the absolute, um, right, you know. Final rule, rule that we look at because I'm remembering things that were said at the ISAC conference by people from other counties, and I'm remembering advice that's been given here and there at some things. And I think a lot of it has been on personal opinion, or this is somebody else's. It's got to be something definitive. And I think what ISAC and NATO are getting for us is got to be the definitive. Yeah. Well, I, what I'm getting here is once we've kind of determined here. Um, some of our questions that we want, I can email off to Jane. I might have to connect with Andrea writing down all the questions. Someone's I've been writing them down. down. I've been writing them down. My notes. Yeah, so we'll just connect and then I can figure out, we can kind of figure out which ones are department questions, clarifications, which ones you write them to ISAC or whatever. Um, yeah. I kind of have the same question here on the different numbers. The current fiscal year budget is 1.3 million, but the project budget is 1.2 million. And I don't think architect and engineering, 198 of architect and engineering gets to the 1.347. Am I remembering right that it was budgeted higher, but then when we got into the nitty gritty, it was actually the estimate was lower? Wasn't that didn't this bid come in? 
different than we anticipated and the budget had already been yeah put together on. you and yeah. i yeah you and i were looking at that for comparison year to year and i think that's exactly right yeah because uh, yeah, it's not okay so what we're really looking at is 1.25 1.347 is the final bid? I'm pretty sure you guys approved. No, that was what was in the budget. What we approved was the one two five two five. That's what I'm remembering. But I think you're right. I, without having yeah, you know, like, having just walked out of that meeting or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And then is the one hundred ninety-eight thousand of architectural and engineering? Included or above the 1.25. I think I think we're going to have that question on every single one. I think we are. I think we are. We have so. to clarify that. And I think I think people may have done it differently because I mean now looking at it, we can say, gee, I'm not sure how I would pull it out if I were doing this. I mean. And, and I think what I'm remembering is that question's in there so we know how much project funding was going to that work. So I'm assuming it's part of it. When they come in and bid, they're included in the whole thing, right? Yeah. But then they've always wanted it broken out so we know how much is the architecture versus true project. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. I think that's, is that, isn't that how we do it on the capital improvement? But it's included in total project costs. Yeah, I, I can I can make out of it. Right. Let's just make sure on the yeah. application so we know. Yeah. Yeah. I, yes. Yes. I is the HVAC equipment at the Human Services Center. What's the fiscal year? I'm sorry. Fiscal years. One, two, and three of Justice Center. Oh, I'm sorry. What, what, what? what fiscal year? All in the current? FY22 had all of it in the current. Okay. Thank you. Well, okay. FY22 got amended all of it because of the delays and the fact that it didn't finish up, the other phase didn't finish up. So he had to move everything forward. So it was in the FY22 budget. Phase three was <coughs> we amended two in also. Uh, two was in 21. Thank you. Now HVAC, HCS, HCS equipment at the Human Services Center. Hi, yes. And this is a new project. New project. It was not, I don't think. This will be submitted to the CIP for 2022. Will be. Yeah. Will be. And did he mean and, I, and did he mean 2023? Oh, we're thinking we'll be in yes, 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 I think yes, yes. This year, so that's right. that's we'll where I got confused right. as well. So that's 2023. Yeah. So that doesn't, so it's not an ongoing project, so it is eligible for the same project. And it does to me seem to be pretty consistent. And I'm gonna just say that I agree with Sandra. She and I were talking about this, and I'm 99.9% .9 sure that the architect fee is just for an FYI, it's included in the project. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Getting 
Jay is the COVID testing equipment for Story County Jail. And we thought this was pretty straightforward. It's a direct COVID. It's a direct COVID cost. It's not an ongoing, it's not anything, it's just even with the pandemic. Right. Mm -hmm. That's the kind of thing you want to have where you can't get comfortable. Bite your tongue whenever I'm going to do it again. The most of the cost is actually the check. Right. Yeah. So $65 for the test, which is you've got 80 from Corey is having story management. They, they gave us 65 to 80 for test. Okay. And it just depends what test. Right. Yeah, this and is a different. This is the Thing where it comes with a machine and they test yeah. it right there, right? Right, right. So they can do their own, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm thinking they're gonna, they're gonna need to know more quickly. Mm -hmm. Right, yeah, the status right. of somebody if they need yeah. to. They have a spreadsheet attached. That's what I was referring to. That the spreadsheet and Jay showed the budget detail. Yeah, it looked like the actual equipment was minimal. A Q health reader at 199 and iPad mini at 299. And 30 COVID test packs at 10 each at uh, total 19.5 out of 20 pounds. Mm -hmm. So the only reason I bring that up is it's not like you buy the machine and the tests are minimal. You buy some minimal machine and the testing, the, the bulk of it is ongoing. Right. Right, the bulk of it's going to be ongoing, but maybe the pandemic will not be. So it's not like we're putting it into expensive equipment that we want to make an office deal with. That's not what we're looking at. The only thing I wondered was how much they were spending now on testing. And you wouldn't want to use it for employees because you're saying you'd rather not have the, you'd rather have that contracted out. I mean, my understanding is that they're doing the testing on the machine. I don't know if you yeah, do it. I don't even know what type of test this is. Is it a PCR test? We have specific guidelines mm -hmm. that we would have to. That might be a question that we want to find out is what type of testing. I don't know. Is it? Yeah. I mean, the direct, the direct COVID, but yeah, yeah is it? It's like a home test, I don't think it's something. Right, that, right. Um, might be the saliva test. I looked through it and you know, like a nostril swabbing test. Both nostril swab prior to running a test, Q sample one nasal swab. The, the test might be, that my question might be, is it just a preliminary? Would you have to do more testing? Right. Because mm -hmm. they used to have them when they do it right away. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. It doesn't have to like go up to your brain to, you know, <laughs> let's check it out. That's what it, yeah. Um, Get more questions on Jay or Ryan K. I don't have any more questions on Jay. Okay. So next was the video upgrade for the public meeting room. I think that I, I don't understand. Uh, yeah, I wasn't quite sure what what we were doing for a video upgrade. I just know that the it says the owl was. These are permanent cameras, instead of using the owl, you'll actually have the video equipment in here to record the meetings. How will the audio be picked up then? What? How will the audio? audio? Well, you have speakers. It's, it's not fine. So it'd be hooked up to their to their actual the microphone system. to the system. That's my understanding. This is something they've looked at for a couple of years. 
that's the work with Zoom. It's the only question I've got. This might be one that we have more questions or we may have to at our next meeting is have um, Barb or someone come up from there to answer. Well, Zoom so, just hooks into a camera, so it just hooks into the system. Right, but if you get cameras up, well, yeah. I don't know. I mean, I think whatever we could do camera. to make to yeah. make meetings more accessible. And uh, I know when I've gone back to listen back at audio, it's hard to hear, even when you have people to level, even with us up here, just being on the angles, if you're direct on, you can kind of pick that up. But if you're angled over, it's harder to pick that up. It's a yes, I think that that would be the advantage of this system would be hardwired to the audio system that's already set up in this room. So that the the can't the video and the audio would be compatible and much better quality. Because right now what's happening is this is your audio, right? And they're splicing it in. Well not perfect. It's not no, perfect. it's not. And we've tried to use with our mics to help amplify it and we get terrible, terrible feedback mm -hmm. right. um, in here. So that that makes it even worse. If Barb is sure that this will solve problems, this is not a lot of money. And and, and it, it continues public access. Yes. And it improves public access. Here's here's just one question. But probably won't know. We'll pick up better if people if people are talking out in the audience because they still have to come up to a microphone. They have to come to the podium like they used to, but that's okay. A microphone up here, but it picks up everything. Yeah. Right. Right. Well, you know, uh, Linda, I don't know that that would be a bad thing to have folks come up to a podium because we tend to get a lot of people that sit in the back who. Yeah, I think that, that we have to have folks at, at, at like at various meetings to come forward. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. I I would no. I would. That's what I was saying. Yeah. That would be a, that would be an improvement. As far as I'm concerned. And we're used to that and coming up to okay. So we think it's it's eligible. Public access. Is that, is that what you guys figured on? Yes. Yes. Uh, L vaccine and testing procedure for Story County employees. Again, I think it's a no-brainer as far as what the purpose of it is. Right. I, I think that there's no, I, and, I, and Elizabeth did as well as good as she could, I'm sure, but there's no way to know the cost. Right. None right. whatsoever. Maybe it could be over. I could be faster. I, I would imagine it's high. But could you do 50% of employees? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's, that's when they do that. Well, yeah, you got to put some. And, and here's the deal. Um, if whatever gets moved in, put in, paid for out of, we're not going to say, oh, we can only spend if the project is, or, or we're not going to tie ourselves, our hands. If, if it, 600000 is what we think, then the 600000 is what we think. If it costs 400000 then we have 200000 remaining. I mean, it's not as though we have to spend every dime of it right. on that project, just because that's what we put in here as a, as a right. thought. Yeah, but it's right. easier to have it high. I, absolutely. It yeah, I absolutely. Would, I would agree with you. Right. It's safer. Yeah. Yeah. It's way safer. Right. And this is something because of the OSHA. Wow. I mean, mm -hmm. unfunded mandate. Mm -hmm. Unfunded mandate to the T. Emma, that would be uh, Tech 84 scanner. I'll, I'll speak for the group on this one if, if nobody cares. I, I think we were really on the fence on this as far as clear eligibility. Um, not, not that we, we just were, it, it wasn't as clear cut as some of them. Um, and then, and then we have questions about ongoing costs because, you know, I, I've been around a long time and 
that means I'm old, but I've been around a long time and um, the free uh, metal detector out there has been sitting there like it is for a long time because of the fact that it's got an annual cost to it and nobody will pay it. Well, I, I think the argument can be made that, not that this isn't probably an amazing piece of uh, technology, the, the COVID part is the temperature scan. Right. And if we're being careful with funding, there are less expensive ways to take someone's temperature. <laughs> I, I will say there are places that put this in. But Mary Creeley put one in on the second floor for their over in their skywalk in their parking lot. They I, got one. I think there were a few bodies that were in. Really? Really. Oh. Thermal thermal body scanners. I'm not saying this one, but they did the temperature thermal body when COVID came out. Second time they did that. I, thought, I guess I want to know about, and I, I, I know because I walked through it at Mary Greeley because I didn't realize that's what I was walking through, I guess, you, guess you'd say or whatever. Um, the accurate, I, I guess the accuracy is, that's just, I, I just, it's a new technology I'm just not as familiar with. I mean, I've even just read things, um, you know, you come in from the outdoors where it's cold right now and you go in and you take your temperature, it's not going to be is accurate is accurate in stuff. So I would agree with the teacher when she says there's cheaper ways to take temperature. And the other thing is it's allows officers to maintain physical distance, but pat down searches won't be eliminated. So it maybe reduces the amount of time, but it doesn't eliminate the need for you to get Close to somebody to down. Yeah, and I think I that's why we, we, we landed that. on the side of it's it's um it's just not as clear cut as something. Yeah, right. Yeah. Does it have? And you said about the other one, there were annual costs to it. Yeah, yeah this one says it includes a five year warranty, but I don't yeah, know. Um, see, yeah. yeah, you know, I think you need to to plan on the budget being able to withstand a, at least a 10% of the purchase price cost for ongoing maintenance, mm -hmm. at least. So that would be an ongoing cost of the county later. Right, mm -hmm. right wrong, or indifferent, that's what I would assume. Question. And is the recorder back scanning? And this is another item that originally um, she was she was going to do this in a in a three year type of a you know at, funded three years of it, as opposed to upfront. Um, this got requested at sixty one four sixty one six. I put one hundred twenty five in because of the fact that. Um, well, 125 is what she had in the FY22 budget, so I just moved that. She's saying it's only going to cost 61. If she can do it all at once, I think is the way, oh, sure. the way it was going. Um, like I said, it was in the FY22 budget, so I went ahead and just moved it into the amendment. Um, Were there any concerns that this doesn't fall into an eligible category? No, we think that we, we we all four are the opinion that anytime we can give the public good access to um, the information here without having to come come in public is is, is a plus. Mm -hmm. um, the county's been working toward that in a lot of different ways throughout the years, um, but you know this would speed up the process. It, it also as I think as it was. David on there is that time when the building was closed, we would have another time when the building was closed. Right. People are not going to be able to have access right. to those records um, that would provide them that. Right. And, 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 you know, honestly, one of our very first ISAC meetings that, that Lisa and I were involved in, I think that was probably three or four of the counties that were there. That's the first thing they were going to start doing is digitizing records with these dollars. 
because because I think the county's always looking for ways to do that, but you gotta find free cash to do it or right. free up the cash to do it. And the time for staff to do it. Then it would my would this fall under the category of an ongoing project is my other question. I don't, I don't know that this one specifically would because I think she'd like to digitalize all her records. She's already got going forward, she's already started doing it. So uh -huh. this is the back scan. Okay. Yeah, they pinch like I just don't want to end up in a situation where someone is saying, well, you use this, these set of uh, determinations, an ongoing project, or it's phase two or three, right. but this is an ongoing project. I just want to make sure we're being consistent. Gotcha. Oh, no, I, okay, I see what you're saying. Um, I, we can certainly verify, but I am of the impression that. You know, she's got, okay, we've done X number to X number years right. from this year forward. I think this project was from a certain year back, if I'm not I, I think you're correct in that. We can even get me a double check there, but I think that's what, um, what Stacey has talked about wanting to digitalize, but they are doing that now. They just don't have the cap for me to So, so, so it's kind of different back. than a phased project. Right. It's right. more of a when we have the money, we're going to do the, this set of years. When we have the money, we're going to do this set of years. Gotcha. All right. Oh, with the theme day stabilization of South Stumps River. Okay, this is another one that was amended in the 2017 into the budget because it was an FY22 project. Okay. And it was a project from the general fund, whatever, but. Um, Nothing has been spent on out of these funds. Yeah, so the I one think that you start, just started on contract. Or perhaps that could be. For the 27 fund, he, um, did you let, put on staff, I know it went to conservation, conservation I have to look back at. But it's a new project, it's not a phase. No. And it said requested 11.5 out of ARPA for the first site out of the 27.5. So I wonder if the system's got something else going towards the Originally in the budget, my from what I saw in the budget, there was 25 and 25. Two different okay. sites. And in, but in the but I don't I don't know where he got that eleven dollar. Uh, so I think we need clarification on that. Yeah, because he's saying he's only asking for that one project's 27.5 and he's only asking 11.5 out of ARPA. So the question is, what's the second project, and what's the, is he asking all of that on ARPA, or does he have another source on it? The current budget amount is 50, but then he goes on to get kind of different numbers. That's something, too, where he may have other federal dollars for that, or yeah. is that something else we just want? Mm -hmm. I, I think if we're here with some of these conservation ones, we want to be clear, because I think that's the one that I see the most that has the Graded funding. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes, yeah, it says a private for the 27 fund is a private donor and the IDNR. So it's state and private money. It's not federal. So that's okay. okay. But that's why he's only asking 11.5 for that because he's throwing some other money to it. So the question is he hasn't received a quota on the second site. So we don't know what it. It might be a similar thing. So, what are you guessing on the second side, or do you have a guesstimate? And do you have other sources of funding for the second side? Because if it's going to be the similar thing, we could be budgeting fifty thousand dollars and only need to budget twenty five. Next 
one P is digitization, but it's hard to say. Friday afternoon, digitization of board supervisors. Dennis. This one uh, was moved from the auditor's budget to the board of suit or to the ARPA funding. This was budgeted, talked about whatever in FY20 or for the FY22 budget for digital, digitalizing all of the but the um, storage we have back there, which will free up some serious permanent storage in our office. <clears throat> we are the keeper of the board of supervisors records. And I think I can't, I, I have to look because I don't remember for sure when Lucy got that quote. It was before the budget in FY22 was when she got that, I think, if I recall correctly. Was that by the same vendor as, because I think I remember a while back where we asked, is, would there be like some sort of deal or rate yeah. deal if they could do it? So that was, I think that's, honestly, I think that's when she got the quote was when um, the, the, the guy that was talking to Stacy was downstairs and it was a one-stop shop for him that day. And he come up and look what we got and talk to us about this. So she had him also um, do look at ours. And, at the, and, and yes, I think that putting the projects at the same time will save us some money. Gotcha. Yeah. So, I'm looking at 22 or 23 realistically. I think she wanted to try this to do year. it this calendar this year, this yeah. fiscal year. This fiscal she, she really wants. She heard you say 22 or 23, and so she didn't realize you were referring to year. But I think she was yeah. looking at money. So, oh, so that's why I tried to say fiscal, 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 fiscal year. So, so. Um, the intent was when the, it was putting the budget to begin with was the fact that it's an off year for election. She was, that's why she put the um, new election equipment and this type of a project that staff would have time to do with and help with it and take care of it. And, and the, the team thought was that she's eligible. Yeah, I, I, I think. Yeah. That gets us through um, here. It sounds like we do have some questions to go back to from the department for clarity. And some questions to go, excuse me, uh, to ISAC um, for clarity as well. And Lisa, maybe you and I can also sit down just around to this next week. Because uh, I feel like, you know, you send one or two questions. Do we have a list of that we've thought about from our conversation, some other questions, and then just send them all? Um, to ISAC or Jamaica or both or <laughs> right to, to get those to get those back. Yeah, I uh, yeah, I will gladly. That's that's fine. I I, I made a list. I'm gonna kind of talk to Sandra here about what her list is, and and then we'll separate internal department questions with more more broad questions. And you know, I I. I'd love your confidence that we're going to learn anything on the eighth, but um, you know, I I just I feel like um, each each time we do anything, it seems to ask, and we seem to find more questions. I know, I know, I know, but I am trying to be optimistic. I know, and I appreciate that. Um, I had a boss at one point in time that I said, you know what, I love your red rose colored glasses. <laughs> so. Well. I hope that we get at least a little bit more clarity. There's still maybe some ambiguity out there, but a little bit more clarity so that we can then make some final decisions. Right. Because um, I know that folks want to know. Right. But I also don't want things to come back and backfire right. on us or on them. I don't want them Absolutely. to be, say, oh, we're going to be awarded this and then find out. Right. Um, you know, that we have to retract something. Right. And I, and I think, um, you know, we, we were talking and, and it's, um, you, you can, they can say you can go on the interim final rules, you can go on the interim final, use those, use those, use those. But there are some really big things that if 
they pass, then that changes the that changes the interim fire. It changes what the intent of the interim fire rules are. Yes. And then we've got another year. Let me go back to something. I, sure. Oh, stream bag stabilization. Am I right that of all, for all of us, the only concern was what's the second one going to cost? And is this all ARPA, or is it like the first one that only some of it is for ARPA, is intended for ARPA? But did we, I see that as eligible because it is a water quality issue because stream banks. Um, falling in, whatever is a big source of phosphorus in drinking right. water. I think that's what we Yeah, that was yeah. our. So we're all in agreement. It, it's yeah. eligible. We just want clarification on yeah. the money. I think from my notes that I, that it, if, if I caught this correctly, what looks like or whether they're eligible or not was D, because that was debt repayment, that was the land acquisition. Yeah. Uh, e was a question mark. Mm -hmm. Correct. Because it's only SF. I have F because it, the trail was, or it didn't look like it was. Correct. The other ones all look, we have some questions, but they seem to be eligible. Correct. That, and we really, we said that wasn't as clear cut, the scanner jail. Oh, right. I'm sorry. Yes. Yeah, yeah, but we didn't, that, that one, it was. Related to COVID right. in some ways, and in enough ways, probably what we thought it probably was, but it wasn't as clear. Not as yet. That's the note I put down. Okay. Yeah, D and F are the two. I just wrote not not clear. Right. D and F are, are really, quite frankly, the two that that you could come up with. But no, that yeah. we can clearly, I think, say are not eligible. And C, Farley Lake renovations. Where do we land on that? I think because it, because well, I think we had some questions on that one as well. But if I recall, let me pull that back up again. It was C. I think it was because it does meet the eligibility because of some clean water. Um, that that uh, and was it, yeah, it was also a non non point source phosphorus pulling non point source phosphorus from water ways as well. But because it met that clean water criteria, I think that's what made it made it eligible. If, I, if I'm correct on that. But and the but the fifty the fifty five is being for the design correct portion right correct and one oh, point oh, two he right. got to quote he got his cost opinion after the deadline and he asked if he could submit I would say that's we yeah. said a deadline is a deadline when we had that discussion yeah. so there's something that happens. We have a resubmittal process. Well, and I guess I would have a question if it looks like it's already in process, it's awaiting the completion. Right, it's awaiting design completion. Well, I mean, it, my, my concern is if this is the, um, the design phase and the actual work phase is going to be $1.2 million, will that work be done? Oh, right. In time. Well, I, I don't. Um, I didn't get, unless I'm missing something, I don't know that the board's approved anything at this point in time, but this, the, but the design. So, so what, what's going to happen from what I can tell is he's going to come forward with the CIP in the CIP and in his budget saying it's going to be this amount and this amount. Right. And so at that point in time, um, you know, this is that's going to have to be a board decision. It, it, it's it's the board of supervisors' decision for all of this. Right, right. right. But so, right. but my point is, if if, if we're going to put X amount of dollars into a, a design for a plan, uh huh. Don't we need to expect that whatever that plan is is completed because we have to use the funds by a certain? The, if the you're planning on done. using the funds for the rest of it. It feels like this is starting a project. Okay. 
with not having the funds clearly delineated for the completion of the project. So it feels like it's the start of a project. Will the project in its entirety be completed by the deadline if we're going to put ARPA funds into the project? I get what you're saying. What you're saying what will be done by December 2026. Right. Yeah. You're not saying because they've designed it, we've already started the project. It's, no, they no. design a lot of stuff separately from the national construction project because you have to have the design. Right. Before, because right. they got to ask, you know, ask for permission to do it, and anybody's going to say how much it's going to cost. Right. Okay. But, but are we investing in a project? Are we, is, that, is, is it realistic to have it done by December 2026? That's the question. That's my question. Yes, that's a good question. And I'm looking at the design as a separate entity at this point, or separate separate part of it in this point. So yes, the design would be done. Mm -hmm. But the, yeah, she's asking about yeah. that. And, and I know what you're, I, I get what you're saying. I, I'm not. Yeah. I, I'm just saying, if I were to say, okay, um, I need to do a, a report, quarterly report on the pro this project. The project is the the uh, initial design phase so it's done okay so we could later come and do a separate application for the actual right construction. right but not now or use that to say okay here's here's my budget for next year for general fund dollars or or um friends of conservation dollars or whatever and not use our funds for the actual whole thing so but are you also asking because the design is completed now no that i wasn't i, I mean that but that's another good that's another good point is it eligible because the design has already been completed the design hasn't been completed yeah, it's not, it was it's just not started this just started. year oh it was just started I mean, the first payment on that okay. was in okay. July or August. Okay. Other questions? So if someone will get those, that will fully help with other kind of determinations. Uh, Whereas we know these projects. Mm -hmm. Correct. So, can we just ask a question? Did you say you're not going to get your final answers from Jamie Cashman until, or you have another meeting December 8th? December 8th. Right, right. But, but I, I'll talk with Lisa and I will we'll get yeah. things off. So, hopefully, I have them even before that on some of them that relate to, relate to this. So, yeah. Yeah, that was, that was my question if we had to wait till after December 8th no. to finish these. And, no, my hope is to, I want to send something off to him right, you know, right away. And so I'll connect with Lisa on Monday. Um, you know, and with Sandra, we'll get those questions and then we'll get them sent, sent off with some further clarity from him. I think we can have answers back. Like take one of our meetings, the 29th or the 13th, and convert that to our second meeting on internal. So we can have answers, do you think, by that? We've got to get answers from department heads. Well, maybe three of them. Jamie is usually pretty quick getting getting answers. Yeah, back. yeah, yeah. I don't know that there's time next week, and I think we don't want that to rush in. But could we take our meeting on the 29th and devote that to finalizing internal? 
that can be too serious for my mental status. Uh, why does it? Yeah, I, I don't know. I guess the question then is, what would you want to do for external? And I'm going second to the six, so that was kind of a right. So I mean, yeah. I mean, the the 29th. Uh, I don't know what everybody's schedule is. We could do. I mean, we've got that two o'clock ARPA meeting. Is there something where we could potentially extend that longer? You know, start earlier potentially. You know, like you know, one o'clock. I could start at one and I could go down to me. Because then you could hopefully we'd have some responses back. And you could say we could start with um, the internal and then go to the external. And if we don't have the answers back right yet, well then we start right in with the external. And then you know, who knows, maybe by the next day we'd have information that we could then utilize. Can you start at one? I can. Yep. Mm -hmm. And I'm so sure for everybody else. Start at one instead of two o'clock. I'm going to push into that. I just can't push it late by six o'clock. But I'm going to push into that. Just can't push it back to that. Should we? Yeah, to do one to four? Can we say one to four? I, I can go to four thirty. I just can't. Well, I'll just block out one to four thirty. Is what I'll do. Okay. okay. So I guess that begs the question from from this group. Four of us. Um, the, the odds of us having time to actually meet about the externals and, and compare our answers before the 29th are all on it. It was a struggle to do it. It was a struggle to do the internal ones. But everything else is <laughs> right. Yeah. What if we just do you think you could do a few or do you just well I I I mean I've started. I don't know what your expectations are. Um is is are you are you fine with us just giving you a this this was our thought pro, or this was this was what we came up with um, the way we did it today or do you do you want something else I'm fine with how we did it today are you again are you are you suggesting that we just do a discussion rather than looking at scoring or are you feeling like well I think okay here's what I think the, I, this is how I felt. The four of us sat down and just started, you know, what what's your thought process here? What, what do you, and we were able to go through and pretty much um, have an agreement on how we how how we would uh, how we would move. Okay, what we thought on the projects, um, but we didn't like take our scores and divide them up and. Nothing like that. We just how how did you score this? How did you um what were your we just use the guide for discussion guide for our discussion basically so that when we came forward to you, we were saying this is how we all what we thought of this. Mm -hmm. and, and it was helpful in, in looking at where does it fall within the guidelines of that? Yeah. Right. You know, where does it you know the external applications will be more challenging because we're not as familiar with them plus they didn't all come from government organizations so they were um, the applicants may not be familiar with how government works where these applicants were probably more familiar with that so they probably didn't request something that they thought wouldn't be eligible so we'll have to go through very closely and try to tie it you know try to look at that having a right line between that application and what they want to do to the FAQs and to the you know internal final rules, et cetera. So the external is going to take longer. So yes, yes. well, and 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 I guess my my thought is um, I've started individually doing some of the externals. I, I don't I assume we all have. I don't know that for a fact, but we've started doing them. So for us to get together and actually start talking amongst ourselves about them may not happen before the 29th. Gotcha. <laughs> I, I don't necessarily oh see a, a problem. I, maybe I'm speaking out of turn, but I don't necessarily see a problem with that. And I, I think the, for me, the value of having this arrangement to discuss is, I, I've read a lot of them, not all yeah. of them yet, but when I read them, I know what I'm thinking. Right. And to have 
you know, a, a group where we've all been swimming in the ARPA rules for almost a year now. So to have a group of people who are really well versed and informed and, and be talking about whether something fits or doesn't fit is it's really helpful for me. Um, but are, are, let me ask you this. Do you think that by the 30th, we would be, we could do something like we just did right here on some of the externals? I'm not here at the 30th. 20th night. 29th. You're not here on the 30th? Okay, I didn't realize that. Then we then had a meeting on the 30th. Uh, yeah, I know there's a meeting on the 30th. I personally Let's get rid of that. have something else going on that day. So, um, I wasn't going to be here, but um, the 29th, yeah, I don't know how long it'll take us to answer these questions. Um, I don't think it'll take any questions. Um, and, and if we want to start at that point in time, I mean, it's, it's as long as you're okay with us not having the opportunity to, to meet ahead of time and just have conversation. We, I mean, like I said, I've gone through them. I've started analyzing as have these two, I'm pretty sure. I've read them. <laughs> I've read them. I, you know, I, I don't know that I'd be opposed that you haven't gotten as a group together because we're going through the conversation. And my question will be, oh, you know, you may say, well, this is your, the reason why you right. think this, but you know, Sandra may say, well, I look at it this way. And that's where it generates a, okay, what questions exactly do, do we have? Exactly. And stuff. You know, our main guidance for the matrix was we wanted to make sure that they met certain, meet certain criteria of determining what's eligible and what's not. Well, it certainly worked for internal because we identified two for sure. Two for sure. That right. we said, nope. And a couple of them that have a question mark to it. Um, that right. were just too, too great. So I think the matrix is doing what we're wanting it to do. Is, is there some reason we can't meet on the first? Would that give a little more time? Um, that, that's Wednesday. Wednesday. It's like in the morning? It, yeah. Oh. Um, I was just thinking. Instead um, of the 30th? Instead of, instead of the 29th. Oh, let's start with the 29th. So I have a meeting in the morning, and I'm flying out here the next morning. So I did, okay. I was hoping to have the opportunity or not. I prefer to keep the 29th. Yeah, we can even keep the 30th and okay. go through. Yeah, you know, we come yeah. up with questions during the come up with questions. <laughs> it, you know, that, that's how, how it is. And I, I, I would. I'd rather that folks see that we're moving things along, we're checking things out, and identifying what additional questions they have. Uh, oh, yes, yes. a value to have Lisa here. Um, you know, if we have other certain budgetary questions, but life happens and people are not here certain things. So I'd rather them continue on. Yeah, I, yeah I don't want you to stop having the meeting. Right. Right. And then be here. That, that's say, not my point well, at all. And here's the other reality is these would be the year grade bringing in some valuable information regarding our budget process, our county budget in this one. So this would have been a meeting that would right. have hardly not had you here. Right. I have a sense that the externals would be somewhat different. Exactly. Right. Here's my okay, I can I can do one four thirty or something like that on the 30th. Is that on the 30th? Okay, yeah. so I've got one to one, I've got one to four thirty on the twenty ninth. The twenty ninth. Um the thirtieth I could start at one. I have a five o'clock meeting, but if I need to miss that, I well if you say one to four thirty, I can do that. I, 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 we'll I can be sooner. late in my other one. So that would be fine. I can mark up one to four thirty. Here's my other whether this would make it easier or whether this would make it more difficult. I'm looking at these external applications and there's a whole bunch of different things. There's a bunch of water quality things, there's a bunch of housing things. Would it be easier to take five minutes if that's possible and group them and say, we'll do the, we'll all look at the housing ones first or we'll all look at the, this or that. 
because if you start like with A, B, C, or one, two, three, and go down, you're going to be jumping from thing to thing. You know what I mean? Right. Whereas if you look at all the wastewater and water ones together, well, I've already done that. You want me to give you the numbers? <laughs> oh. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So four, five, six, eight, ten, fifteen, eighteen, twenty. Wait, 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 wait. Sure. Four, five, six, eight, ten, fifteen, eighteen. Twenty. You share that with us? Sure. That twenty-four. Thirty-one. Thirty-four. And what are those? Um, waste water, water, waste water, and wastewater water mm -hmm. projects. Okay. Could you put the Nevada one in there? But which one is the Nevada one? Number two. Number two would be it. Oh, I think number two would be included in that too. I missed that one. Yeah, the other day. Yeah, I missed that one. Okay. And what's the next one? The broadband 14, 33, 36, and 37. 14, 33, 36, 37. Okay. And it's top But yeah, that's the idea I had. That's, so housing would be, I think, a lot of the rest of them. And then there might be child care. Yeah. Yeah. And miscellaneous. Food. Yeah. Is there there's is there more than one food? Yeah. And that might be something yeah, to look at. Yeah, I thought I saw some food one as well. Yeah, I oh, it first. Yeah. So there's some miscellaneous ones, but that takes time. That's 16 out of the 37, just those two categories. And I bet if you do housing, yeah, that's gonna be another big one, and then you might have the other, you know, the fourth category of the other stuff, which is more social services kind of. Mm -hmm. The housing and our social services. Just if that would make it easier, because then you're you have your mind on the same thing for a couple hours rather than jumping from here and there and back. You know. No, I I would try. So you so so what's your thoughts? You want to start on water ones. Water ones. On the 29th, when we get done with the questions of the interim, and then go to broadband. Yeah, yeah, that, that's fine. I, I think for me, I was just highlighting the broadband because I was like, okay, these ones might have a lot of funding coming. From another place. That, that was why the broadband jumped out at me. Um, the the water ones jumped out at me because there were so many, and I, you know, I know that that's a big expense for the cities. So the cities were at top of my mind. Other than that, I mean, I had no other reason for marking. Right, I, I right. You were just delegating. You were just separating. Right, organizing. Yeah. Organizing. Yeah. And I would just say that. I'll look back and see when the OCIO was making um, the decisions on the note to seven. There is some potential that will lose some more broadband money coming into Story County that way. I still haven't heard back. Tomorrow's the deadline, or not tomorrow. I see a deadline is Monday. Yeah, Monday's the deadline. So check and see if they apply because I haven't heard back from them. But that might be something to keep in the, and I don't know about the other, some of the other ones, categories that we're getting to, whether we'll know, are they, a child care is going to have other funding. We really don't know what that is either. Yeah, but things like, things like the food at first, um, stuff like, stuff like that. Well, we know. That's probably a more urgent, right. a more urgent need. Right, or whatever for for funding. Yeah, and we've got to look at the infrastructure bill and what we don't know. All that we don't know about the infrastructure bill is that we do know there's a lot of money for broadband. There's a lot of money in there, probably for those 
quarter, there's money for bridges and roads, but we're not doing it down here. But we'll have some overlap with that. So I guess the question is, do you want to just double checking, do you want to start with the wastewater and broadband or do you want to start with the others for tonight? I mean, this is the two days, so I'm not sure between the 29th and 30th that makes that if we're gonna difference or whatever. Or we just say let's start with I put down wastewater is my A, I put broadband is B, and then I put C was the um, food insecurity, and then just go, you know, we can look through and see if there's others that should be lumped together. I we don't we don't have the housing all lumped together. I was like, okay, that's B and just go through what, what all those are. Mm -hmm. I don't, yeah, we're going to do them close enough together. I don't think it matters which ones we do first. So, we're looking at the dice to do that. Yeah. So, we're saying we think we're going to get done. Got you all in at least the first first two days. First, yeah. We're going to get to them all on the 29th and the 30th. And that may generate some questions that we want to ask potentially back to the applicant. Yeah, I think we just call it a preliminary review. I was honestly hoping we could get this done <coughs> by Christmas. And the reason was that we, before we moved into budget work sessions, but the reality Lisa, is that you're doing both at the same time. So I don't know how we make it easier. I think we just, I mean, we just you know, try to do the best that we can yeah. or whatever. That's, that's it. Because then, yeah, it's, I, I'd rather have have it sooner that we go through and make some decisions so folks know more quickly or whatever and then we've got that better path and we'll move it forward. Do we want to try to set some reserve some dates meetings after? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, Friday the 10th. I'm wide open that day. I've got the 7 a.m. meeting. Oh, I've got a meeting in Webster City in the morning that I can meet in the afternoon on the 10th. Three and the 10th in the afternoon. We just do another one to 4 30. And yeah, we tentatively have a one to 4 30 for that. I don't know if we have public comment. I just saw something in the chat. Oh, we, we do. We'll get to that in just a minute. Let's 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 get whatever dates that we want to look at. Um, like Monday the 13th after one o'clock work or in the morning. Um, if we want to go that close, I, it just depends what we CIT has session on that. Yeah, Monday afternoon, free Wednesday morning, Thursday the 16th, October 3, Thursday and Friday. Well, almost both days. I'm not meeting at three on Thursday. I'm not going to go. You know what? I don't recall now. C is CICS meeting because we're hitting Chris holiday time. If they would be meeting. The afternoon. How does the 16th in the morning look? I did this meeting. I have aging resources from. Oh, oh wait, actually, December. I don't think I do. I, I could, yeah, I could probably meet. I have to look, but I'm not sure I actually have a meeting for December. I think it's January, is what we're from our last meeting said. So I just thought it worked just fine for me. So the 10th and the 16th? Yeah. The 16th is in the morning. Morning. That works for people. What was the time? I think it's at a time at eight thirty to noon. That work? Sure. Sure. Will that, will that work for you guys? I'm trying to schedule bargaining, so I will try to work around these days. I just want to get full days to bargain. So sure. Sure. Now I have a few days and I want to start that December. Yep. So. And on Thursday, the sixteenth, right? The holiday. I 
will not be here for six weeks. The price will be able to increase to be able to start to. And I don't have an aging resources meeting for December. We don't meet again until January. So, so six meetings in the morning is good. Yes. About how many hours? 8 30 to 12. 8 30 to 12. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I just want to get it. Yeah. Yeah. We're so just blocking it out whether we need that entire time. Okay. We really we may, but we don't block one. We'll block one more just in case. Or sure. Case. Yeah. Sure. I, I know. Well, and, and there's the, nothing that says that we're going to use this whole week block. No, we, but if right, I get something done in two hours. <laughs> uh, the 20th, I want to look at the 20th then. Or the, or 17th. the 17th. I would look at the 17th. That works for people. I just have that 7 a.m. meeting that I see at like, let's say, or 8.30. So I and if I need to miss it, I could miss it. Would be ABC. Yeah. You wouldn't mind missing a 7 30 when you ask them a question. <laughs> Why don't we do 8 30 to noon and it could be your excuse? There you go. Whatever. What, Leanne? Okay. 8 30 to noon that day? Yeah. And we may find that we can cancel those if we, you know, move along another. These are just our tentative dates for right now. Our schedules are getting so. Yeah, it's right. still build if we don't put something on our block. I'd rather now. have stuff on this on and be able to cancel it than try to find a meeting in a cut time in a couple of weeks because that could be impossible. Right, right, right. Plus, everybody's trying to schedule. Um, right. Right. Exactly. Except there are nothing still. Well, not for me, but these are really good. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> I, I know. I wish there was a way we could make it any easier. But when you're looking at some of these that would potentially be included in the budget, it's unfortunately the only time that we that we have. So, um, are we ready to go to public comments? And I see there's a bunch of comments. So I'm not sure there's a bunch. I know there's comments in here if you want to. Uh, either that, or we get a meter if she wants to ask that question. Hi. Hi, Laura. So uh, at the beginning of the meeting, you were talking a lot about not, not knowing what the rules were. And it sounds like a lot of the questions about the rules have to do what's eligible related to infrastructure. I count water quality as infrastructure type of, of projects, OK? Um, so I'm just asking and letting you guys know that there are some projects that aren't tied, that are clearly meet the definitions. And could you see that those continue to move forward rather than having everybody else wait just to hear if something that you don't know about another bill like the infrastructure bill. And then uh, my next uh, round or there is that Lisa Markley said about the recorder's request that Lisa increased the amount of the request over what Stacy had asked for. And I'm asking if external applicants have gotten cost updates since they originally applied, uh, can we adjust our requested amounts then? Since internally, apparently, you get to adjust your requested amounts. So if you increased the amount in the budget amendment when we were talking earlier. I put the right? amount in the budget amendment that she had in her and that was in the budget. Her request was sixty one thousand. Her her budget request was one hundred twenty five thousand. And since we were already amending the budget, and that was before we finalized these applications, that's the the reason. Okay, thank you. So thank you for clarifying that. That 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 that's what was applied was the hundred that Stacy applied for one hundred twenty five thousand from ARPA funds, as opposed to a budget amendment out of the general budget. That's my real. That's my question. Is that is no, the staff being allowed? Is, Go ahead. What I'm saying is the budget amendment was for 125,000 because that's what was in the FY22 budget originally for this project. Right. So so where did the 61,000 come from? That's what that's what Stacy asked for in her application. So she actually asked yeah. for less. For less. So what I'm saying is 
just because 125 was moved does not mean that's what we're going to spend. What I'm saying is the 61,000 is what Stacy's thinking the project's going to cost. But, but since we were moving dollars that were already in the FY22 budget at that point in time to eligible projects, we moved what we have. Okay, so I'm still, my question is if we find out that we've got different budgets, all right, Stacy asked for 61,000 on her application. That's what I'm saying. That's what was turned in as of the deadline for staff, correct? Right. Correct? Right. Right. So then can we also adjust if we find out? I mean, I've got an updated cost amendment here. I tried the other amendment. Yeah, Lawrence, I think you're a little confused on it. Um, let me try to explain it. The internal applications, the applicant the, that we have, the list of all of them shows the recorder at 61,000. Yes. Okay. 51,645. I think what Lisa was doing was just doing a budget amendment and moving it for budget integrity. I don't think we were saying Stacy was asking for ARPA funds of 125. Okay. She's only so, asking for the, the 61, but the original budget said 125. Right. So you're leaving. I'm sorry. It basically since come back and have said, I've got more information. It's only going to cost 61,000. That's where the application then came in. Okay. So the amount from ARPA that was being considered is 61,000. The other money up to 125 is coming from general funds or fees or whatever. It, the 125 was just an item in the budget request originally. Yes, I understand that. that. It's going to be less. It's not two different numbers. Okay, so that's all I'm trying to ascertain. It's is what it originally sounded like was that the entire $125,000 is now in an ARPA request, but that's not what Lisa said. Right. Okay, thank you so much. Okay, thank you. Okay, so then, and you address the times, and I've asked very clearly that the external applications dealing with immediate human needs be placed first. I mean, you know, it sounded like at one point the list there, and I asked that again later on, human needs were last. I mean, dealing with water, whatever. And I'm just pointing out to you, the Hunger Coalition met yesterday. The minutes from that indicate that local food pantries are seeing more people. And that in several instances, uh, food pantry people reported their families they've not seen before who are living in their cars. So, I know everybody thinks every, it's a priority, but we've got immediate human needs that are going to take time to be filled here, especially, you know, with these funds, making them available. Um, so some of these other projects you're talking about are, are projects that are going to take a while to even start, really. And so if it just seems to me on a prioritization uh, manner that as you move forward with these work sessions that we take a look at the ones that meet the human needs real needs up front thank you yeah. no and, and i appreciate that Lawrence. i think that's one reason um uh looking at the the number of external applicants in the time that it took us today why we wanted to extend our time to be able to talk on these topics so that we could move through them more quickly so that we can make some decisions because we know there are needs out there. Thank you. Is there anything else for today? If not, move the adjourn. Have a nice weekend, everybody.